This is so awkward. Um, this is so awkward. Um, this is what I hope to be an ongoing yearly series where I do a basically a personal year in review of my life by interviewing myself. It's very similar to Vanity Fair and what they did with Billie Eilish. Um, this aligns with my mission of having my whole life documented or recorded in some shape or form. Um, and I hope that this will be an ongoing thing. And maybe when I'm 90, I can rewatch Young Joshua, answer some questions and bring myself back to some of the moments and how I felt during that time when I was answering them. So yeah, here's the interview. Enjoy. My name is Joshua Deshun Haggerty. Today is December 31st, 2023. I am currently 26 years old. I'm getting, I'm getting up there, dude. I'm getting old. How many followers do I have? I gotta look at my phone for that one. Um, let's do, I'm gonna do Instagram, my biggest Twitter, TikTok, and we'll do, what's the last one? Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, duh. Um, on Instagram, my personal Instagram, I have 1,308 followers. Twitter, I have 4,130 followers. Let's see, TikTok, I have 120 followers. Absolutely killing TikTok right now. And YouTube, I have... YouTube, I have 35,877 total subscribers. I really lost so much, I kept going. Most liked a photo on Instagram. I'm gonna have to scroll through. Is it this one? No, okay, wow, it's actually this one. It's this one, well, wow. here. 308 likes. Um, yeah, this is when I did, uh, the runway shoot for, um, you and I, and I got to wear some Billy Reed, Billy Reed. I still plan to work with you one day. Just letting you know. Um, but yeah, that was a cool shoot. It was a cool shoot. It was, I guess it was like me mauling before I really started mauling. Wow. Surprise. This one has, let me check the archives. Let me check the archives, because maybe some archive has... No. Wow, I'm looking at the comments on some of these. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That was a crazy hard launch, now that I look at it. <laughs> now that I see that. That was a crazy hard launch. <laughs> um... Most follow person that follows me. Oh, uh, these are some tough. I, these are like phone. I had to go through my phone for these questions. Uh, most follow. I think Adley follows me. She's probably going to be number one. Because she has 842,000 on Instagram, but she has like millions on Facebook. I'm just going to assume that it's her. Uh, let me do a quick scroll, though. Maybe someone's got to be. I don't know. I also have some celebs from Twitter, from the YouTube days, but I'm not gonna count those. We're just gonna say Adley wins. Who is the most famous person I've met? Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty hard for someone to ever top that. Oh my God, all these questions are like, I don't know off the top of my head, I can't just answer them. Um, most viewed, it's probably something on Rare something on rare that um, I made. I think the, if I remember the highest one I ever got was like maybe 50 million or something like that. The biggest video that I've ever made, well, technically I made that one, so. But the biggest one on one of my personal channels, I think I have like one with like 200,000 on YouTube. That's like seven or eight years old. So yeah, the Tyler Childers music video, for sure. Even to this day, it's like a joke now around, among my friends, but some they'll, they'll just bring it up occasionally. I guess it, it stuck. That one was that one was a bigger deal than I ever expected it to be. What advice would I give myself a year ago? 
focus faster. Focus faster. You'll get a lot more done in a short amount of time focusing faster. Um, future me. Hopefully you follow through with the plan. Um, enjoy the things that bring you joy. And don't be shameful about it. Be shameless. So whatever brings you the most joy, accept that joy. Protect that joy. Attract that joy and keep it. For sure. Oh man, dude, I did this exercise last year. I think it really helped, but I try to have some role models every year. Um, for this year, for 2023, it was, um, it was Addis the Baddest, Addis Miller. He was a model. Um, Alicia Schmidt, I think that's how you say her name. She uh, was a German model, but also a track star. Uh, Kanye West, of course. Um, who else? Sander Stage was a one this year. I'm going to stick with those four. I think I maybe had one. Oh, and then I had some locals, some local models that I kind of looked up to. Um, Aaron Moon. Ah, uh, who else? Oh, Lily Chi was the one that I discovered uh, recently. Yeah, yeah. I would say those those are six. We'll stay with six for the for that. Biggest moment in my career. It's it's hard to answer this because I've had so many. I haven't had a typical standard career for a, a typical traditional career. I've had multifaceted, multi things I've done. Um, but I would say probably the YouTube channel just because that creates some separation for me from most people. Most people never got that level of followers on YouTube, especially at that time, the way I did it in the short amount of time I did it. I did it when I was so young. Um, that's probably been the biggest as far as I can bring that out and it kind of, it separates myself at least. So I would say that's the biggest, probably the amount of the YouTube stuff that I've done. One funny moment from the year. Okay, this is actually hilarious. So Erin Moon is a, a, a national, she used to live in Nashville, but she was a model and I really enjoyed her stuff and um, got to work with some of the people that she has worked with and we kind of had mutual connections. And I ran into her. I was like actually kind of a fan of hers. Like honestly, <laughs> I've met all these big names, but I was a fan of hers. And I ran into her, ran into her at the bar. <laughs> and I saw her, I saw her like face and like kind of her side profile and her back. And I was, I was like, I was like, let me just say something. Let me say hi. And I was like, I think verbatim, I was like, yo, no weird shit, but you are awesome. I love what you do. Thank you for all that you do. <laughs> and she was just like. <laughs> so that that was it was kind of cringe, but I think people deserve their flowers. And in a weird way, she has been inspirational for me. Um and because when you when you join an industry that you don't really know about, you kind of take up on the people who've done it before you. Um, and so in a weird way, I followed her stuff, tried to model her stuff, um, and it worked out. I think I got further, faster doing that. So shout out Aaron Moon. Favorite movie? Interstellar. I don't know if that will I don't know if that one will ever change, honestly. Let's check the Spotify wrapped. Um I already do know my song of the year, but I want to see what was my most played song of this year. Because this song came after the Spotify rap drop this year. My top song was No Enhancers by Jack Harlow. Ooh, that's, that was a good one. But I'm noticing now, like, all my top songs are usually the shortest songs because they get played over and over, so it counts as another repeat song. Um, so that was my, my top 
23 no um that was my 2023 wrapped top song with no enhancers but my top song that i played this year that i liked this year was from the kid Leroy. nights like this by the kid Leroy. oh my god dude so perfect i think the timing of it one it's short the timing of the song um plan it reminded it brought me back the beat when i first heard this i was like why is this song so familiar the beat is by Clan Casino, who I used to listen to a shit ton in like 2014, 2015, during some of my most creative years. And he produced this track. And I was like, wow, this is like, brings me back. And the lyrics, the beat, everything about it brings me back to my olden days. And then some of the lyrics are like really hit home for me. So love this song. It'd probably be my 2024 Spotify rap, like most played songs. I play it like once a day. You will always care about yourself more than others. So if you can get over the hurdle of yourself, you can jump over anything. Also, the only person that can cancel you is yourself. I think that was a KSI tweet, but I'm stealing it. Oh, this is multifaceted. Um, criticism I've been dealing with my entire life, especially like being on the internet. So criticism now is just like whatevs. Um, unless it's like really personal, really personal criticism from your friends and people that you respect or people that you looked up to, you should take with more grain of salt than just, you know, from random strangers. Um, and what was the other part? Self-worth, self-worth you're gonna struggle with regardless every day. It doesn't matter how high you are or how low you are, you're gonna have some insecurity, but you still have to deal with yourself. So that's the best way to deal with yourself. <laughs> no, by choice, by choice. By choice. Um, I don't think I don't think it would be fair for her. I don't think it would be fair for me. I think right now, the time of my life, I am giving a lot of time to myself to get to where I want to go. And the plan, at least, is to build myself up to where I can, you know, when I do find someone or someone finds me, it's I'm at a better spot. Um, and so we start at a higher spot together. And so it'll be better together once we're together. So kind of just building myself up, hopefully. Um, and yeah, but it is my choice right now. Oh, people say that like, you shouldn't regret things. Like I have no regrets. They were all of these just memories and lessons. Bro, people regret things. Um, I think again, just, I think I spread myself too thin by trying to do too much. You, you know, you try to chase two hares to catch none or chase two rabbits or whatever the saying is, but you really, if you can focus on one thing, accomplish that, then you can go on to the next. It makes getting the second thing much easier once you've, once you've done the first thing. I think trying to do too many things at once has always been my biggest regret. Oh, every day. Oh, my hair, my nose, my teeth. Um... The hairline is getting worse. Um, probably my teeth. I've always, I've always envied people with really pretty teeth. My teeth are all right now. The more that I look at them, um, but they're pretty straight. I, it, I don't know, but they could be better. Yes, and I'm getting better at that for sure. I think I've always been, and I was always an introvert, and then I became an extrovert but I enjoy having time with myself the most, but I can be good in social settings um, just because I've had to practice it so much. So I think now I don't try to fit in, especially in this period and, or era of my life, um, it's gonna be, be me by myself a lot to get the most growth. Um, so I'm, not, I'm choosing not to fit in, I'm choosing to be excluded, um, but I do have to be in those settings where um, I'm around others. I'm just going to be me. So, yeah. There is no balance with between personal and professional. Um, for me, I, I think there's professional things and there's a way, there's a culture you should have, but it can be blended, especially like in the social media, personal brand, business owner, model, YouTuber, social media person. Um, I tried to separate the two before and it doesn't make much sense 
you know, KSI might be known as the YouTube star, but JJ is the man that is actually in the body of KSI. They're, those are the same people. Those are the same people. I think that's another reason why Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, believe it or not, is that Peter Parker is still Peter Parker, whether he has the, the suit on or the suit off. So there's not really a balance. Um, you just you just are who you are. Whether you have the fame or or the social presence or you know your business or your professional and your personal, they all they all mix together. You have one life. That's, the social media industry is changing rapidly. I think it's honestly more important than ever. It's um it's 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 AIing. AI is here, it's coming. Um, I think it's easier than ever to grow a following. It's easier than ever to put out content. It's easier than ever to get your name out there. It's easier than ever to monetize. Um, it's important, everyone needs it. Businesses need it so much, so much, so, so much. Um, it's changing faster than ever. It's more personalized than ever. And it's more scary than ever, for sure. Best way to put out content is to just sit down and record, um, truly, um, and say, F it, I'm gonna record it. Just like this interview, I shouldn't try to make it be perfect anymore. I just said, put the camera down, put the camera, put the mic up and I'm here. Um, best way to grow an audience is to talk about things that you enjoy things that you know, and then find others and collab with others who are doing the same thing. My top three shout outs, my top three shout outs this year. Uh, Sarah Grissom. Sarah is my friend and um, we kind of had this pack that we worked out almost every Thursday this year. Um, 6.30, 7 a.m. Soho House. Um, there was really, Great. The thing I love about that is like I, I knew that or I already know, have done in the past where having an accountability partner, um, especially in the health space, is really dope. Um, but she's also just kind of kept me accountable with like non-health stuff. She'll hit me up about random things. Um, she's a go-getter herself, which I respect a lot. And I don't know, bro. Like those sessions, like you can't fake that. You can't fake um, doing and putting in the work. So shout out Sarah. Um, Grace, Grace, all I'm going to say is you held it down this year. Shout out to my girl, Grace. Um, and my mom, I think me and my mom had some, me and her, her have always had a kind of a, um, the, not the best relationship, but this year we had some talks where we kind of, I, I think we've respected each other a little bit more. And kind of, she's getting older, I'm a little bit older, so the way we treat each other, the respect is kind of there, more there mutually. So that was great. So Sarah, Grace, and my mom this year. Tennis. I became a tennis player this year. Um, dude, I love the game. It's gonna be a lifelong thing. I have rackets, I have balls, I have so many balls. I cannot wait till it gets warmer and I can start playing again. Piano. Um, I want to learn how to play piano. It's always been a, a thing I've been wanting to do for like always, but like, especially like the last four years. And so hopefully I get a keyboard and, you know, can afford lessons and learn how to play piano. Play the keys. My legacy. I want to give and show what's possible by showcasing my life and documenting it, documenting it's as much as I can um, and show that there's going to be goods, there's going to be bads. Um, and that's just part of life. And I think the actions I'm taking to do that is things like this interview. I'm going to produce the most content I've ever done in 2024. At least that's a plan. Um, 
having schedules, having routines, having systems that are being built out um, to make it as hard as I can for me to fail on my life's mission. No, actually. Um, I think there's so much more that I can achieve and obtain, and there's a better way that I can go about doing how I'm living. And there's better for me if I do the things that I need to do and I know what I need to do. It's just actually doing those things. Um, and life could always be worse, but it could be better if you decide to put the work in, um, surround yourself around good people and have a little bit of luck. And I think I could do those things. I want to say that good job, pat on the back, and the ideas that you put in place last year, you focused on them and the goals that you set out, you achieved. And even if you had some failures, you learned something in the process. That's the goal. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, this was cool. Year one. Hopefully see you in year two. See you next year when we're older. Bye, me.